Bonnie Willis is the face of what's likely the most sprawling legal case against Donald Trump. And through the effort to disqualify her, we've been learning a lot about her. It's brought a lot of attention to her. It isn't her first rodeo, though. She's taken some of the most high-profile cases as Fulton County's first female DA. And those who know her say that her resolve is unmatched. Here's a look at who she is from those who seem to know her best and how we got here. I just remember from the campaign when she ran, the hair whole premise was we can do better. Doing better and doing the right thing. That's the motto so many of Fonnie Willis's friends and former colleagues say she lives by. <laughs> the Fulton County District Attorney was elected to office in 2020, unseating a six-term DA, Paul Howard. Tonight, Fulton County has spoken up loud and clear. Willis has been a lawyer for 28 years. After attending undergraduate school at Howard University, she went on to Emory University Law School. She says that ever since she was a little girl, the only thing she ever wanted to do was practice law. Her inspiration, she says, was her father. From the time I was seven, eight, or nine, um, I was putting my father's files together, which were mainly murders and drug cases. Born in Inglewood, California, Willis spent time between divorced parents, but John Floyd raised her as a single father in Washington, D.C., where he practiced law as a criminal defense attorney, which led to many days spent with him in the courtroom when she was a child. As so many single women or fathers know, he wouldn't have anywhere to take me on Saturdays. And so our routine would be that on Saturdays, he would go to court because he was a criminal defense lawyer. And guess what? On Friday night, a lot of folks get locked up. And so he would be there Saturday for those first appearance hearings to represent the clients. Um, and I would just sit in the courtroom. Before Willis became the DA, she was in private practice for five years, then an assistant district attorney the chief municipal court judge of South Fulton, and then she had one failed attempt at running for superior court judge. And then people started coming to me saying, we need a DA that's going to be fair. She's led more than 100 jury trials, and the RICO case she's brought against Trump and his allies is not her first. She co-prosecuted a massive RICO case, the longest criminal trial in Georgia history, in the Atlanta public schools cheating scandal which ended in 11 of 12 convictions. That's around the time Bishop Reginald Jackson met Willis. I was immediately uh, drawn to the fact that this sister is ready to fight because this issue was that important to her. Now, as the highest law enforcement official in Fulton County, she's facing scrutiny over a relationship she had with Nathan Wade, the lawyer she handpicked to be the top prosecutor in the sprawling Georgia election subversion case she's brought against Donald Trump and his allies. So this is the only receipt that you have to show that she paid for travel. One of the defense attorneys in that case, filing a motion in January, alleging Willis financially benefited from appointing Wade to the post. A defiant Willis refuting those claims when she took the stand in her own defense. Do you think I'm on trial? These people are on trial for trying to steal an election in 2020. I'm not on trial, no matter how hard you try to put me on trial. Georgia attorney Gabe Banks says he was offered the top prosecutor job before Wade was. He's known Willis since he started working at the DA's office with her in 2007. She supported me when I was a young prosecutor in that office. I mean, just go out of her way to help me, and it, it, it is one of the reasons why I am who I am today, just because of that friendship. He says he knows the influence Fonnie's father has had on her. I think that Fonnie's hero is her father. As a matter of fact, I gave my daughter uh, her first cash box and told her, always keep some cash. To this day, Willis's relationship with her father remains very close. The only man who's ever foot my bills completely is my daddy. Charlie Bailey and Fonnie Willis have been friends since he was a self-proclaimed baby prosecutor in the DA's office 10 years ago. She's a daddy's girl. She says it, you know, her love of the law and her sense of justice that no, no one is better than anyone else. I mean, that is, you know, that is her father. Marvin Arrington, a criminal defense attorney and a Fulton County commissioner, was friends and classmates with Willis at Emory Law School. He says they've been friends ever since. She is definitely a competitor. Uh, she likes to compete, but she knows how to temper that with fairness. 
LaDawn Beckett says she's been friends with Willis almost 20 years. She met her when she was a young prosecutor in the district attorney's office. She just seemed so intelligent and confident about what she knew about the law. But more than anything, it was clear she was passionate about her job as a prosecutor. She is a formidable force. CNN correspondent Nick Valencia has covered Fannie Willis since she took office. I spoke to the judge who presided over the Atlanta public school cheating scandal, and he described Fannie Willis to me as a bulldog and said to me that he would never want to be on the other side of her if she was a prosecutor. Her friends say that bulldog didn't get to where she is without having to make sacrifices along the way, especially when it came to raising her two now grown daughters. I think the single most sacrifice that any single mother makes is working long hours and trying to raise two girls in a respectable way. Fani did that and she did it well. I watched her as her girls got older and older where she had to balance and shuffle being a mom while raising two girls. It took a true village of her friends and families and co-workers to make sure that she could do her difficult job while raising her girls. They're, they're beautiful, brilliant girls. And not least of all, the security risks she has had to face since taking on the role as district attorney, particularly since her office began investigating the election subversion case against Trump soon after she was elected as DA. I can just imagine the kind of pressure that she's been under, but also not to be able to really have a personal life. You know, when you can't be at home, you can't go out to eat, you can't go to a movie, you can't have people come over. That's a tough life. There's no real comparison I can make with anything approaching what she deals with on a day-to-day -day basis. She never anticipated this, but whoever anticipated, you know, a president trying to overthrow the government. I don't think other prosecutors that we've covered would be able to survive this kind of pressure that she has been able to withstand for years now. And her friends all agree, none of this will stop Fonnie Willis. I knew from the very beginning when the entire issue came out about whether or not she was going to indict uh, former President Trump and any of the co-defendants, I knew she wasn't going to bring a case unless she had a case. It did not matter how much people were pressuring her to bring a case, unless she thought she had some good basis to go forward, she wouldn't go forward. And now that she's gone forward, she's not gonna back down just because they're slinging mud. You know, there might be some prosecutors that say, well, I'm just not going to do that because I don't want the threats. But that, that is not something Vonnie Willis could ever do because it's not her. Uh, she's much braver than just about anybody I've ever met.